for watching another Nerd Stalker event. Right now, we'll kick it off, and I want to go to our panelists. I want each of our panelists to tell us a little bit about who you guys are, and then I want you also to say a word of wisdom to the startups out there. Like, if you had one gem, so get that gem that, that, that you think every startup should know, and give it to us. And who wants to go first? Who has that gem? And if you feel confident? Hey, everybody. My name is Larry Braithman, and um, I'm an entrepreneur and an angel investor. Um, I, for the last uh, 12 or 14 years, have been investing in primarily digital media uh, and consumer services. Um, and um, I guess my gem would be, uh, you know, lately when I've been talking to entrepreneurs and working with them, one of the questions that I ask is, um, I ask them to um, kind of go through risks. Like, what can go wrong? Um, because as entrepreneurs, there's a tremendous amount of focus on all the you know, market opportunity and, and all the things that can go right. But it is worthwhile spending some time thinking about what can go wrong as well. So I'd like to hear answers to those, that question. Hopefully we'll hear some of that today. Thanks. My name is uh, John Ritchie, and um, I, um, I'm an entrepreneur. I've done three, three startups, and I run an angel investor group called U.S. Angel Investors. I'm also a member of uh, Harvard Angels, a lot of business School and my angels well and correct to form. And um, um, I look at all sorts of deals. In terms of the gem, I don't know, I have two of them. Uh, one is probably something you know, it's all about cash in and cash out, uh, when it boils down to it. And the other one is, you know, as an entrepreneur, by nature you have to be a pain in the butt. I mean, that's kind of like the nature of the thing, but you'll be a nice pain in the butt. Um, I'm Scott Hempe. Uh, I work for a firm called Cody Capital. We're out of Palo Alto, and we focus in uh, intellectual property. So a variety of industries, a variety of technologies, but uh, we try to kind of um, invest like a normal venture firm would, but then in addition to that, uh, provide insight, help, and uh, kind of IP development for their intellectual property patents, trademarks, etc. cetera. Um, in terms of a piece of advice, I would say understand your market, know your market, um, and know your competitors. If you can understand and, and know your competitors better than they know their business model, you're going to succeed. Um, and coming from an intellectual property background, um, even with patents, things are still competitive, and it's always uh, it's always important. No matter how much uh, intellectual property security, no matter how much um, of a head start you have, to make sure you know that uh, your competitors are going to come after you. Uh, I'm Jacob Shea. I work for Monthly Ventures uh, under the Startup Monthly Fund, and uh, I do deal flow for them as well as own an agency called DigitalBoss.com. Uh, I'm a software architect turned into a deal flow guy now, I guess. So. Uh, my gem is that watch competitors very closely, see what they're doing, and as well leave your ego at the door. There's no ego in the startup land, and so uh, when I talk to founders and others, you can also always tell the ones with the egos for sure. So uh, just be really honest, and be sure to hang out at meetups and other like-minded people around you, and it really helps a lot to understand what people have been and what they're doing in the future. So, Hi, I'm David Lane. I uh, have the firm Diamond Head Ventures, and been in involved in the venture world for uh, a couple decades. Uh, probably the number one thing I would recommend for any presenter is put your greatest value add up front. What demonstrates the success that you've had so far? So in, uh, for instance, uh, the fan went out. I guess that's good, right? It's a good, it's a good omen for me or for someone. But, uh, for instance, if you come up to an investor, whether it's an angel or venture capitalist, and you say, I have Facebook, Google, and Yahoo as customers, I'll say, I'll give you two hours instead of the five minutes I was thinking about. So that's a suggestion is to get whatever you've done that's unique, that's demonstrable, get it out up front. That's a hook 
that then will cause your listeners to stay longer. Hi, my name is Rosjan. I'm with a firm called Scale Venture Partners. We're based in the Bay Area. We, we focus on enterprise software. Um, 